Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. In order to do that, we need to regard the laws of America. And when people do not regard people's rights to choose their lives and choose their opportunities and choose their work and choose their religion and choose the people they choose to have in their life, then we have a problem with choices. The problem we have is choices that we end up with slave masters who think that they can enslave someone to their choices. You see, the choices you make for your life and your choices in your life belong to you. But the choices someone else makes is based on what they understand about what the choices can do. If a choice in a person's life has given them a full life, then it is the right choice for them. But the minute that you start interfering with the person's right to make choices, you give up your own rights to do so too. You see, the liars of America say, I am him. So I'm going to be him, I'm going to do him, I'm going to steal from him, I'm going to take from him, I'm going to choose him, I'm going to do this. Great. But did you do you, or did you try to do someone else's life? You see, in this moment of time, there are people who have stolen my medical rights. At no time did those people, under any international human rights declaration treaty, have the right to touch my medical records. At the same time, under federal law, at no time do those people, even under continuity of care concepts, have the right to touch my records. And yet, we have mental health bastards and professionals, quote unquote, who come from India and marvelously manage to stay here, to lay here, and to play here when they should have gone home a long time ago. They allegedly came here to learn that psychology that we teach. No offense, but they've had plenty of fucking hours and years in their country to build their own universities and teach their people how to live. Their absolute, aberrant, total disregard for our medical rights, our physical rights, our mail rights, our technology rights, our telephone rights, and our telegraphy rights. And if you know what that is, then you're old like me. But what I'm saying to you is that we have rights in America. And the people who took away my medical rights out of their arrogant, asinine beliefs about their ideologies of life did not allow me my rights. And as a result, I have massive migraines every day. I have constant illness in my stomach. And openly, you don't just fuck somebody out of something and think that, oh, in a couple years' time, they'll be fine. But let me explain something to you. For every motherfucking nurse that you play into this building to walk past me to take a look to cop a feel, I will fuck your life into hell. These little shitbag bitches from the community need to learn to shop. That's on them. But if you're walking into those fucking clinics and teaching them where to look, you're a fool. But what I'm going to tell you is that when you took away my rights, you motherfucking bitch, and my family, you lost yours. There is no more right to my life. I have told you a hundred times, do not ask me about my medical practices. Do not ask me about my medical rights. Do not ask me about how I'm feeling. Do not fucking ask me. I am a 53-year-old man that is motherfucking angry that his medical rights were abused and literally used and ruined by police officers in a fucking jail. And Marion County Jail has got a lawsuit coming. They were already in a class action lawsuit when they fucked around with me. Those men were asking me questions of did I get my shot or not. And let me tell you, motherfucker, it's not your fucking business whether I got it or not. But those nurses at that company didn't provide it. They lied and gave me a placebo. They probably lied and gave me a different shot. And here's how I know. For a man who's been taking that fucking medication and balance for his whole motherfucking adult life, I know what it looks like. I know what it feels like. I know what it smells like. I know what it, it touches like. I know what it feels like under my skin. I know what the bulge is like. And I know because I've had it my whole fucking life. 